Hello everyone and welcome to Monday's Assembly. This week is um, a special week for our assemblies because it is anti-bullying week and I think it's really important that we mark that, think about it uh, through the week or that we are thinking about the way that we treat other people. Uh, later on in the assembly, I've got our shout out box, which I'm going to be uh, reading the shout out for this week. I'm going to start um, by just sharing a PowerPoint. I'm going to share my screen. Um, and here we are. I'm going to start with, um, as you can see, a, uh, a football kit. This is a, a Barcelona football kit, um, messy kit. And I wonder if you could um, just have a little think amongst yourselves. I think, what, what would you think about someone that you saw walking around wearing this particular kit. Um, I suppose you might sort of think that, um, I don't know, you might think that they were um, quite cool, or maybe you'd think um, you don't support that team, so you think that they'd be terrible. I don't know. You might have a very specific opinion about someone that you saw wearing a kit like that. Um, I wonder, just think about your reaction to that. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, and maybe also just have a think about, um, so here's my, my next picture, um, this lovely jumper here. Um, very uh, attractive jumper. I wonder what you'd think if you saw someone wearing that uh, around a place. What, what would you form an opinion of that person? What would you think of that person? So just take a, a few seconds just to, uh, to think about that. Because what we're going to be looking at today is differences in people and the way that we react to those differences and i've got a poem that i'm going to read to you um, as part of that it's called uh, zach the zigzag zebra um, it's not easy to say but it's called zach the zigzag zebra Here you go. let me read it to you the zach the zigzag zebra is going into town when sam the stripy zebra says you look like a clown zach the zigzag zebra smiles and laughs and bows but in his secret secret inside he has a hidden frown. Every day the others will throw Zach a new word. Sometimes they've no, they're, they're even words he's never heard. Monday, he's called Flinkle. Tuesday, he is Foo. Wednesday, he's a Blargle. Thursday, he feels so blue. He isn't like the rest, you see. His zigzags make him strange. Zebras should have stripes, of course. So Zach, he should change. Friday is too gloomy now, and Zach is very gripey. Maybe they would like you more if he could just be stripey. So Zach pulls out his sharpie and colours in his zags. He makes his zigs all straighter, but isn't very glad. He creeps into the classroom and slumps down at his desk. His snickers, laughs and whispers and feels like such a mess. Hey Zach, your zigs are wonky. Your zags are all awry. They cackle and they crackle. That gives a great big sigh. Then teacher Zeb comes shushing and takes in zig striped Zach. She gazes at the others so gleeful in their pack. Your words have bruised this zebra. Your jeers have caused his wounds. And now he's tried to hide them. You need to think, he booms. Turn to sadness. The giggles fade away. Come on, Zach, we're sorry. Want to come and play? I'm the stripy zebra for Zach, the class football. I'm sorry I was mean to you. You're not a clown at all. Zach, the zigzag zebra, looks down at all his mess. Would you like me better if I zigzag less? Time to stop and shake his stripy head and point above his nose. Look, I've got a star right here. I'm different as it goes. Ron has spots all down his legs. And zebras should have stripes. Polly's mane is like a lion's. I suppose we're all right. Then teacher Zeb comes trotting by, says, no one's just the same. It makes us all more wonderful. Now go and play your game. The Zach, the zigzag zebra, goes home to have a bath. Let's his zigzag shine again and fills his face with laugh. I think that's a, a really lovely poem, really amazing poem, and something certainly for us to think about um, in anti-bullying week. Because Zach was different. He had zigzags rather than stripes. And because of that, he felt he should 
look exactly the same as everyone else. And he felt terrible that he didn't look the same as everyone else. And people were making fun of him because of the way he looked. I want you just to think about whether you have ever treated anyone like that, not because they've got zigzags on them, but um, because maybe they look a little bit different to someone else. Um, whether it's the fact that they wear glasses, whether um, it's uh, I don't know, their face, their skin colour, um, whatever it happens to be, have you treated someone differently because of the way that they look or the way that they behave even? And I think it's really important for us to, to think about that, to realise that probably at some point, all of us maybe have done that um, to different people. And we need to think about the effects that that has on others. Um, I just think back to the uh, the clothes that I shared at the beginning. You know, it's it's really easy for us to maybe make fun of people because of the way they look, because of the clothes they wear, or, or whatever it happens to be. Um, and actually, that has a really strong impact on the people that it's, uh, we say it to. Now, there was a, a girl when I was at primary school, I've heard this to before, and some of you have probably heard it from me before, um, but it's something that I still feel terrible about even now. Um, it was a girl when I was at primary school, she was in a, the year above me and everybody at school for some reason called her it. And every time people went past her, she said, all right, it. And it just, it must have hurt that person so much. Um, I called her other names like Smelly and things like that as well. And it was really, really unpleasant. And I still feel guilty now because I didn't do anything about it. And I even joined in sometimes. I think it's really important for all of us to think about how we treat other people. Are we joining in with the crowd? Are we being unpleasant? Maybe we're even just ignoring what other people are doing. But actually, if people are making other people feel bad, we need to do something about it. We need to take a stand. We need to be, do the right thing. It's so easy to be drawn in and to be part of the crowd, but know that you're still doing something wrong. We need to actually think about what's right and what we can do to support others. So we are all wonderfully made. Sometimes we don't feel as good as other people, but it is not true. We are all good as each other. And we need to remember that. And we need to remember to treat other people the way that we want to be treated. Let's say a prayer now. Let's pray. Dear God, help me to know that I am wonderful in all my differences. Help me to say kind words to others, to think about other people, and to remember that my words make a big difference to them. Please help me to help those who are sad. Thank you. Your words to us are always kind. Amen. I'm going to do the shout out. Now. Here we go. A few shout outs in here. This is, I would say, bullying our shout outs. They are fantastic. It's lovely to be able to do that. Here's the first one. Uh, it's to Mrs. Herdman. She is so helpful and kind to everyone. It's a lovely one. Lucy in 6N. She works so hard. To Jack P in 6N. He cares so much when others are hurt and need help. And to Chloe in 6N, who is always so mature. This one's for Sophie J for being caring and concerned about other people's welfare. Really lovely. Exactly what we're talking about in our uh, assembly this morning. Shout out for Mariella for being kind and happy. My next one is a shout out uh, to the basketball team. Uh, that's Vi Violet, Soraya, Joe and me. It was so much fun and they were so supportive. My final one today. Thank you to Freddie for stopping me from banging my head on a pole. And that's really kind as well. So we've got some lovely shout outs today. Um, I want you all to think about Anti-Bullying Week, not just over the next week, but over, you know, keep thinking about it because it is so important that we all treat each other in a lovely way, in a kind way. We make sure that we treat other people the way that we want to be treated. And as our school motto says, that we love our neighbour as we love ourselves. It's really, really important. Have a great week, but really think about anti-bullying week. Bye.